Well, I'll tell you what, imagine this. Getting a call on your birthday of all days with someone saying, we want you to direct a brand new music video for none other than you two. Yeah, mind-blowing stuff. Well, this is, this is the story of Cape Town-based director Brian Little, who's doing really big things. Take a look. The South African film industry is once again on the global entertainment map. This time, it's local director Brian Little and Cape Town-based Chinese graffiti artist Dalist, who was picked by U2 as one of the 11 urban artists to freely create a music video for a track of their latest album, Songs of Innocence. To help him bring his art to life, including his famous animals that appear to jump off walls, Delise contacted his buddy Brian Little to direct the film for the song, This Is How You Can Reach Me. Together they shot in Cape Town and New York with a twist. They could only listen to the song an hour before they started shooting. And it was all so worth it, with a video for U2's album that's available on iTunes. A little piece of Cape Town art has now gone mainstream. Well, a man who's making us all proudly South African is sitting right next to me, Brian Little. Good to have you here. So, Happy New Year. What's up? Man, and, and you've just, uh, I think, entered the New Year in, in great spirits because, I mean, this came along your path last year in August. That was your birthday, right? Yes, yeah. But how did this all come about? I mean, they contacted, uh, as far as I understand, Dull East. Yes. And, uh, and they got to you and said, listen, we want you to, to direct this video. How did that all happen? Well, yeah, it was actually it was on my birthday last year in August that uh, I got the call from Dull East saying, um, you two had contacted him and they were wanting to make a short film about his artwork and that. And obviously he hadn't really done anything like that before. So he gave me a call and said, do you want to get involved in this project? Would you like to help make this film? And I was like, absolutely, let's do it. So you might, you might have been like <coughs> turning up on your birthday, just having drinks with friends that yeah, you yeah, doing there. Yeah. But then, <laughs> then you quickly had to come up. So that, that's Style East right there. We're looking at his yeah, picture. That's him, yeah. And then you quickly had to come up with a concept for this yeah, video. Yeah, pretty much. We, we, we left for New York like, My goodness. the next day. So. Um, that previous shot, we actually shot in Woodstock on the way to the airport and then kind of pretty much hit the ground running and just conceptualized and, and shot as we went along, yeah. Was it something it's that crazy. was like sitting in the back of your mind that you were just waiting to let happen at some point when the inspiration struck? Um, I've kind of always wanted to work with him because his work is just so amazing like, and, 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 and lends itself so much to, to becoming a 3D element, you know yes. what I mean, his creatures and that. So I'd always had it in the back of my mind and, always, and actually a few days before that, I'd, I was walking around in Hart Bay and I saw a guy, a, like a street guy with a huge pack of dogs just cruising around the street and it's, it's a guy that lives there and for somehow I kind of linked the two and I thought that's such an amazing powerful image of this like wandering, wandering man with his, so it kind of, that kind of, kind of became a central image to the, to the concept of the music video. And, something we, we try to recreate and, and usually in New York City. Yeah, yeah at least as, well, as far as my understanding goes of music videos, you get given the song a long time, you listen to it, think about how lyrically you could connect it, but yeah. you were given the song an hour before the time. Yeah. Whose idea was, yeah. was that and why? Well, I guess it's just part of the deal of you releasing music on that level, you know, the, 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 private, the, the piracy concerns and all of that kind of thing. Sure. And even just leaking a song before it's meant to be. There's so much work that's put into how these songs are released and that, that to, to protect that, they have to be super secure about it. So we actually even, I mean, I was in New York before I'd even oh, heard the song, dude. you know, so that we, yeah, about an hour, two hours before we shot that, we kind of heard the song for the first time. Did that put which is insane. a great amount of pressure on you though? Because you seem like very chilled. Yeah, I think so. But at the same time, I kind of, you kind of, with you two, you know sort of what realm you're in, you know what I mean? So cool. we knew it would be quite big and anthemic and kind of have a lot of, a lot of scope for like quite a new, like, surreal kind of emotional film so we yeah. just kind of trusted that we intuitively were going to get it right and yeah. we, were, we were lucky it kind of worked out yeah. and now that you've done it has, has you two seen it has Bono seen it yeah, what, yeah, what's been the response been like apparently very very good yeah. yeah yeah everyone's very happy so I'm happy and the <laughs> weird thing that, that, I, that I've heard is that you actually don't dig directing like music videos you're more like into mm. film right? and storytelling yeah, in that sense I think only because music videos are somewhat I find personally I mean just somewhat limiting in that you can't you can't explore the soundscape of them, you know what I mean? The track is the track, in a way. True, so true. I think, if I, for me, that's just something that I'll, I'd like to in incorporate the environment into it, the sound okay. and dialogue and that kind of stuff. So. But I mean, now that you've done this, you might just get a call tomorrow and Pharrell Williams might be like, hey, listen, <laughs> I saw your work with you two, let's work together. You're yeah. not going to say no, are you? I don't know. No! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I mean, you know what tomorrow brings. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, listen, uh, congratulations. I think it's a, it's a very 
crazy project that you got involved in and you really executed to the highest level of excellence. That's why, like you say, that those guys dig it. And I, I wish you all the best in 2015. Thanks, man. Man. What is coming up for you? Just give us a quick little brief thing. Um, I'm working on some commercial work at the moment and then for the next few months. And then um, after that, I'm trying to get a feature film off the ground. So my first feature film. I've done a few feature length documentaries before, but um, it's my first narrative feature. So I'm yeah. super excited about that. Very yeah. nice stuff. And this video yeah. is available for you to download on iTunes right now and check mm -hmm. it out. But congratulations, of course, to Brian Little, who's doing great work. But I'm saying last year was a very big year for hip hop in South Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, if you could just fuse your mind with that, and especially knowing that one of my colleagues here on Expresso really wants to be a video vixen. Leanne, 